Welcome to every shot from a 10 handicappers round here at Toot Hill. Absolutely beautiful course. This is true winter golf though. It's wet, it's cold. There are 20 mile an hour winds with gusts of up to 45. So this is gonna be a treacherous one. If we could get anywhere near our handicap, that would be big. Let's get onto the first tee. We're hitting a three wood. Starting off here on a 422 yard par four. This is all downhill all the way and it is SI 10. That should play very nicely. Caught that one quite well. Yeah, that's pretty much perfect. Don't think we could have actually placed this one better. We have got 180 yards playing 170 downhill. Loads of wind off the left though. So we're gonna give it a fair bit of space. Just swing nice and smooth at a seven iron to start us off. Pretty good. It's a nice strike early on. I can't see it. I have absolutely no idea, but I hit it well. Fortunately, we are safe. We've come off the back. Um, just got to get up and down really now. That's it. It's quite far past. I just wanted to make sure we were on the green. Wow, the greens are unbelievable for this time of the year. Right, we've got a slippery downhill 27 footer for par. I'm going to give this uh, a lot of respect, I'm not going to lie, because I just feel like it's going to fly compared to what I've been playing on recently. Wow, that is fast. That might go in. Stop. Oh my God. I probably hit that like it was a 15 footer anywhere else around here. <laughs> it's gone about 30. Oh my God, I've started with a double bogey that is devastating, I'm not gonna lie. These greens are quick. We're gonna have to really adjust fast to them. Don't know what happened there. That's actually outrageous. How have we made double? Oh my God. Hole two is a 362 yard par four. It's SI4, it dog legs to the left, it's uphill and it's downwind. Can't see it at all. Oh yeah. Yeah, perfect, up in the middle of the fairway. Got about 140 in here, but the wind is blowing an absolute gale. I've got a pitching wedge. Should be on the green, either that or it's going long. Yeah, I think that's on, I think we're good. All right, very similar to the last putt we had. This one is 30 foot though. It is downhill also. I feel like the exact same putt I gave it last time would be perfect. Come on, ball. Giddy up. Yeah, that's not bad to be fair. Oh my God, what is going on? Another three putt, not ideal start. Two three putts on the first two holes. That is, that is diabolical. Hole three is a 143 yard par three and it's SI 16. All right, we're gonna go pitching wedge again, but I'm gonna swing it easy here because I feel like it's like downwind and it's about 130, so it could go very, very long if I decide to go crazy here. Oh dear, skinny. Work out, slow down, it's off the back. That's a dreadful, dreadful, dreadful shot. Yeah, just gonna do a little pitching wedge, nudge it, bump and run it kind of. Maybe hit it like a putting stroke. That could be really good. These greens are absolutely ridiculous considering it's February. Uh, well, at least it's not a free putt, I guess, guys. Oh my God, that is absolutely dreadful. What is going on? These greens, I can't handle them. Genuinely, we are what? We are three shots worse off than we should be. We should be one over and we're blooming four or something. Oh, that is dreadful. We will pull it together at some point in this round. Don't you worry, we'll get it firing. Next hole though, is into wind and it is blowing an absolute gale. Hole four is a 393 yard par four. It's downhill, but it's into wind and it is SI2. I'm gonna hit a three wood here. Uh, just wanna try and keep it out and under the wind, to be honest. Oh, I've not got very good contact. Skip the tree. It's past the tree. I guess it'll work. Sadly, we've snapped it off too much to the left. These trees are blocking us. We've got a huge tree in front of the green. Um, so I'm going to have to just pitch out to the right and then, uh, and then try and get up and down from over there. 
Just want it to travel far enough that I'm not compromised by the tree. Should be all right. Now, if you guys can't tell, the wind is absolutely ridiculous. I've just tried to fly the drone down here and it's basically got blown off to the side. It barely made it down the hill. So yeah, it is windy and it is tricky. All right, we've got 91 yards to the pin. I think I'm gonna hit this like it's 110 though. Oh, I've pulled it left. Get a bit of the green. No, nope, we're off the side. Come on, Tom. Stop. It's all right. We've got a long one for bogey, though. Oh, oh my God, look at it. I've barely tapped it and it's gone a mile past. Oh, my Lord. Oh, flipping it, guys. Jesus, we've just made a triple. Oh my Lord, what is going on? I'm not really even sure what's going on. I don't feel like I'm even putting that badly. I'm just being punished right now. Hole five is a 342 yard par four. It's SI6, it's all uphill. That is not a great swing. I mean, it's so short. As long as it gets over those things, we should be all right. But there might be a bunker. I don't even know. We've been joined by Lewis, who uh, was the one ball behind me. He just fancies playing with me, so uh, he's going to be joining us. I got 115 in, but the wind has just literally picked up. It's uphill, but the wind is blowing an absolute gale. Uh, I don't mind going a little bit long here, but... Go on, wind. Oh my God, it's blowing it straight right. Into the bunker. This is not the round I was hoping for. They say summer golfers are made in the winter or something along those lines. Um, I really hope that's true because we out here grinding right now. I'm doing it for you guys. It's gonna rain for another five days. So this was the only day I could get out. And I wanna say thank you because there was so much support on the last couple of videos that we've uploaded. You guys are awesome. Um, you gotta keep on going though. We've gotta keep on smashing the like button, leaving comments. Leave me your golfing journey down in the comment section. I will reply to every single one of you without fail because you're my day ones and I'm just an absolute golf nerd. All right, let's, uh, let's go see what these bunkers are all about, eh? Not loads of sand in here, that's for sure. Quite wet. Ah, oh, quite thin. Frustrating. All right, 54 foot here for a par. <laughs> oh, uh, it's all right. Go on, stop. Come on, Tom. We need something to happen here. We can't card another double. We just can't card another double. I've missed again. Oh, I've literally missed everything. That is just so bad. <laughs> so this is really what 10 handicap golf can look like. If you're on an off day and things aren't going your way, my goodness, it can be an absolute bloodbath. So I respect you guys for sticking with me. Another par three here. This is 162 yards and it's SI 12. GIRs feel like a rarity here. I'm gonna try and hit this seven iron up there and get it on. Oh, it's so right. The winds ain't not gonna help that either. Crikey, all right. Okay, let's see what we can do here then. Yeah, it's not too bad. Distance is really good. Let's see if we can make just one part. Oh my goodness, he's actually drained one. It's a miracle. I'll tell you what, we'll take that. That's, that's big, that could be a big momentum shift or maybe just stem the bleeding a little. Hole seven is a 436 yard par five, our first of the day and it's SI 14. Got par five, gonna hit driver. Let's see what we can do here. Straight into wind, God knows what's gonna happen here, so. I'll play. Doesn't look like it's gonna go anywhere though. All right, uh, gonna hit a hybrid here. Got a long way in. Um, for some reason, Arcos thinks that I could actually make it despite the fact that we're 210 into wind. I just don't think there's anywhere I'd ever get there. So hybrid is the play. Oh, well, I've hit the slope in front of me. Don't go behind a tree. Funny thing with this round is that I'm actually disappointed with how I'm playing. Yeah, there's been a couple of crap shots. That fin on the par three, just hitting the bank in front of me there. That was pretty poor. But overall, we've struck it a lot better than we usually do. We just haven't been able to putt or do anything close to the green. So <laughs> we can sort that out. We'll be flying. I'm not really sure what to do here. I've got about 110 into the flag. It's blowing an absolute gale. Uh, I'm going to hit a pitching wedge and just hope it gets there. This wind is ridiculous, guys, by the way. 
How does that come out so left? I've like smothered it. My ball has gone into this unofficial standing water pond. So uh, yeah, that is uh, unfortunately gone. So you're gonna have to drop one for free relief on the line that it went in on, I think. A little bit long. We are putting for a par though. 30 foot up the hill for a par here. Go in, go in. All right, for a six, that was so close to going in. We've got a drivable par four here, 255 yards uphill downwind and it's SI18. All right, let's make some YouTube magic. We are downwind right now, so try and use that to our advantage. It's a little right. It's not going to get any better because uh, the wind's blowing right. So everything just seems to be coming out right now. 22 yards here. Need to land this short. So can't actually see the bottom of the pin, which is making this a little bit more tricky. But oh, love that. Are we like a birdie? Oh my god. No way. <laughs> okay, come on then. Little birdie. I can't even bother to take the glove off, it's so cold. Yeah, happy days. I don't know how that's happened, but it has, and we'll take it. Oh nine 9 is a 354 yard par four. It's SI8, and it dog legs down to the right, round this sort of like nice downhill, and we've got a pond on the right of the green. Oh, that has got, the wind has got that. Stop blowing it left. Oh, I think we're okay. For a second there, I just had thoughts of it just blowing off into the trees, but I think we're okay. I think we're getting to a stage where I need to try and keep this ball out of the wind. Um, just off here on the left edge of the fairway, I'm gonna do like a little knockdown nine iron and just run it there. Big pond on the right, so just wanna avoid that. That could be good. Sit. Yeah, we're on. I'll take that. Got a 51 footer here. Oh, ball, keep going. Ah, oh, damn it, I think I towed it a little bit. That's a bogey, another three putt to add to my collection. Okay, we've rounded the turn. We are 10 over par, it's not looking great. It's our worst nine ever. I won't lie, yeah, it's our worst nine ever, but that doesn't mean that we can't have our best nine ever coming in and shoot our handicap. You wanted to see every shot of a 10 handicappers round. This is it. You are seeing it right now. Let's get into the back nine. We've rounded the turn. Hole number 10 is a 398 yard par four. It's the third hardest on the course. I'll put it down the right side here. Oh, he's flirting with the danger on the left. Stay out of it. We are fine. We are fine. Right, we've got 170 yards into this pin here. It is tucked behind a bunker, so I'm not really gonna go at it. I'm just gonna go slightly towards it and it should just blow back in. I'm gonna hit five iron because it is windy as heck. As you guys know, I've said it about a million times, so not the best lie here. Very slippery, very wet on the foot. Don't hit in the rough if you don't want that. Didn't catch it quite enough. Run up there, run up. Oh, it's actually on the green. All right, now we're talking. I've got to say, what a course this is. How is it holding up so well in the winter? Like, it's crazy. 9, 10, 11, 12, 36 foot. But my God, is it going to break away? Oh dear, I'm actually scared about this part. No, don't be scared. Don't be screwed. No, go. Oh my God, if this comes back to my feet, I'm going to scream. I was not prepared for this today. The greens are slick as hell. The wind is ridiculous. It's freezing cold. It's really wet. My Lord, I was just, I just did not expect to come out and play like this today. or play anything like this, of course. Oh my flipping God, I've actually made a putt. No way. It's a four to start the back nine. 512 yards into wind. Hmm, okay. Might need four shots to get there today. Hole 11 is another par 5, it's SI9 and it is 512 yards all uphill. A little right, hopefully it avoids the bunker and the trees. 
So I've avoided the bunker, it might be behind trees. Not ideal, we're blocked out big time by this tree. I'm actually just gonna try and uh, hit like a chippy hybrid, keep it under this tree. I'll do. You know what, I might put it straight behind another set of trees. I have. <laughs> oh dear. That's what we call a smooth move. Now the only thing that I've got going for me is I'm actually on kind of like an upslope. So I have a feeling that I can get this six iron up and over these trees. Oh, that is so good. That is so good. Oh, we're on the bloody dance floor. I can't believe it. We're fighting for a birdie. 13-ish foot. Imagine, for a birdie. Oh, now stop. All right, no birdie. Can we lock up the par? All right, we make another par back to back. So it's all, I want to say it's, uh, it's our longest par streak of the day, guys. So we're flying. Next up, we're onto the signature hole. It's 125 yards long. It is a par three and it's SI 13. Really cool island green with a bunker on it. We got it at 108 yards, downwind. I've got gap wedge in hand. Going long here isn't a problem because the uh, pin is at the very front. Oh, that's gonna be bunker, isn't it? Or worse. I think it's bunker. We found the bunker. Interesting one here, we in the bunker. Just need to get this to just pop out a little bit. Oh, that's so good. Come on. Give me a rake, baby. Yes, come on. That's what we're talking about, guys. Three cars in a row. What a bloody hole, by the way. Look at that, a fountain, pond, wind. Oh, it's like the beach, it's crazy. Hole 13 is a downhill par four. It's actually split into two sections of fairway by a big river that runs through the middle. And we've got an uphill section as well. All right, I'm gonna hit a uh, four iron here because you run out of space if you hit driver. So hit a four iron up the left-hand side. Jobs are good, eh? Oh, that, that's got to go. It's not left enough. I'm pretty sure it's hit trees. Right, we've got about 177 into this green. Uh, got six iron here. Uh, gonna hang it out to the left because I think it's gonna be coming in to the right. Unbelievably, if we didn't hit a tree, we came straight through. So really good news there. Oh, it's come, everything's coming out a bit right at the moment. All right, well, we're making progress. That's all we can say. Oh, I've hit way too hard. Hit the camera. Oh my God. Guys, you wouldn't have seen it, but that landed about three inches from the side of you. <laughs> 10, it's 30 foot. I'm actually gonna hit it like a 30 foot because I've got to go through quite a bit of fringe to get to the hole, so. Or what I know as a 30 footer, I guess, is a better way of putting it. Oh, imagine. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, there's something about this hole and me having a bit of a magical time on it. What a part. 30 footer for par. Does that continue up? That continue, keeps the par streak going, guys. I genuinely cannot believe what is going on right now after that start. Hole 14 is the hardest on the course. It's a 411 uphill par four. The thing is, I know that the second this ball comes out of this clearing here, it's gonna be in a wind tunnel and get blown so hard off to the left. So I've got to actually aim at the bunker, otherwise I think I won't be on the fairway. Oh, that's pretty good. It might, no, I see it, I see it. It's on the fairway, I think, or just in the rough. Um, yep, all right, I'm hitting seven iron into a pin that's about 135 yards away because of the wind. So fingers crossed it don't drop for a second because otherwise this is gonna end up in the clubhouse. Well, take the wind out of the equation. That is a low runner. Well, how is this going to react? I think I'm just gonna go like a little hinged one and just get it out, to be honest. Um, but it could come very, very left. So let's uh, aim over to the right a bit. Oh, that's pretty good. Stop. All right, what's that? So one, two is the th three. That's four. Okay, that's for a bogey. So we gotta go and try and make that. 
Go on. Oh, almost perfect. What a wonderful double. <laughs> to be fair, I think we all knew it was coming. I've been, I've been on the ropes for a couple of holes now. This is an interesting hole. Extreme downhill par three, 118 yards long and it's SI 15. We are directly downwind and I'm too fearful to hit a full like gap wedge in case it just blows out the back. So I'm going to, uh, I'm going to hit that, like kind of like that chippy nine iron again and just hopefully have it roll up to the front edge. That could be really good. Get a good bounce. Oh my God, what? Okay, I genuinely thought that could go no more than about 90 yards without hitting the floor. It is on the very back edge, it is just held on. <laughs> it's so funny when you think you've hit something perfect and then it's so horrendously wrong. How has that happened? All right, we've got a 63 footer for birdie. I'm on the back fringe here, so. Is that gonna turn left like I thought it would? No, not even close. That is <laughs> not a great part. Definitely turning off my right, your left a little bit here, guys. It's gonna go back towards the water for sure. Oh my God, the back nine is just, it's like night and day. The front nine was a nightmare. The back nine is like a dream. What is going on right now? Another par five here, and it happens to be SI5 as well. It's 470 yards long, and it is a dog leg to the right. Come round. I feel like I'm Scotty Scheffler or something. Oh yeah, it's fine, it's in the fairway. <laughs> oh, my head cover's about to blow into the bloody water. All right, um, so we're a long way away. Uh, just gonna hit a six iron up and over these trees here in front of us. Get it over. Oh, clipped the tree, but got through fine. Okay, we've got 110 in here, guys. Uh, gonna do that chippy nine, because if I do it exactly like I did last time, then it should get there perfectly. Could be good. Could be very good. Could be very, very good. I think that's one of the biggest learning experiences I'm having during the winter is trying to be a bit more creative with shots. Like that was a really safe, no danger kind of uh, attempt into wind. If I'd hit a gap wedge full or a pitch wedge full out the back, could go long, could go really short. I don't know. A lot of things could go very wrong. You know me, I love a 30 footer. Another 30 footer for birdie here this time. Oh, wind's just given that a push. In fact, it might have even stopped it. <laughs> Some days I get like six footers and I'm like, no problem. Other days, I get in and I'm like, mm, I'm a little bit worried about this. Oh, you've got the piss. Look, we played so many holes so badly. We played that one so well and didn't get rewarded, but got rewarded for the others. All right, three over through the back so far. 17th is an uphill par three. It's the second easiest on the course being only 127 yards long. Can hit a gap wedge here on this par three. It's uh, 127 long, but currently it's playing 100 um, but yeah give it a whack is that gonna go far enough oh it's on it's on it just cleared the bunker just by about a millimeter we've got 27 foot for birdie here that is lightning quick okay it's a stress-free par we can take it and move on. We're still just three over through the back nine. Big tip here, have you noticed how I haven't really talked about my front nine score since the front nine ended? I've completely wiped it from my memory and all I'm focusing on is positive. So a really positive thing that's coming out of this round is how well we've played on the back nine. So just got to keep on thinking positive thoughts and that will allow positive things to happen. We're on the 18th. I'm not sure if this is drivable, it is downwind. So let's go have a look. The final hole here is a 276 yard par four. It's SI 11, it's downwind. Are we taking driver? Let's find out. All right, it's saying that to the middle of the green, it's 255 yards, playing 230, so I'm gonna hit driver. Um, there's water on the left, as you guys will have seen. Um, so yeah, I mean, we're not playing for a PB. Like there's nothing really to play for, um, other than the fact we're having a decent back nine. But, like, I fancy just hitting driver, just having a bit of fun. That's what golf's about, isn't it, at the end of the day? If it goes in the water, it goes in the water. We drop for it. It's all good. 
Ah, oh, snapped it left. Find a bunker and stay safe. We have got 40 yards to the pin. Ignore the dream drone screaming. Um, yeah, we just got to get over this pond. We actually cleared the bunker, so that's interesting. Right, here we go. Come on. One last magical moment. That could be really good. Oh my God, that is really good. We've got a really good chance for a birdie on the last. Just before we finish around, I've got to say big shout out to Toot Hill. This place is actually unbelievable for the time of year. I am genuinely stunned, so I'll definitely be back. Okay, this is a par 70, so if we make this, we're making an 82, which isn't, which isn't too bad, to be fair. Nah, I've missed it. Don't make it nervy. Okay, make it nervy, go on. Go on, make it nervy. There we go. 13 over is the score today, guys. Three over our handicap. You've got to keep fighting. You've got to keep grinding. And if you want to see me keep on fighting, keep on grinding somewhere else on a different course in the winter, well, then just click right here.